An alarm call for Russia. Sunday marked the fourth recorded single-day increase of coronavirus cases. And the worry now is what lies ahead and how Russia's strained healthcare system will handle it. Medics complain of shortages of protective equipment and testing capabilities and the high rate of hospital workers who've died from the virus. Russia's reported death toll remains relatively lower than other countries, but it has double the number of new cases it had two weeks ago. Authorities say that is because of increased screening. The spread of the virus is mainly caused by those who have it without symptoms, so it's good when the infection is detected at an early stage. The infection number is rising, but not the spread of the illness itself. In Italy, 1,000 newly recruited health workers prepared to assist doctors and nurses working inside the overcrowded prison network. Detention centres there have been at the heart of the coronavirus crisis from the very beginning. And the fear is that it could prove to be a hub for renewed infections. This, as the leader of the Roman Catholic Church, used his Sunday address to call for international cooperation to combat the pandemic. It is important to unite scientific capabilities in a transparent and impartial way to find vaccines and treatments and to guarantee universal access to essential technologies that allow each infected person in every part of the world to receive the necessary medical treatment. France is now preparing to enter its final week of strict confinement measures. Its health ministry announced that the number of people who have died from COVID-19 rose by 166 to more than 24,700 on Saturday. While figures for those admitted to hospitals continue to decline, it comes with a warning from the health minister. If infections rise in the coming week, the lockdown could go on. Sonia Gallego, Al Jazeera.